Greetings and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics that relate to the appeal of Robert Sylvester Kelly. You are now listening to the We Can Fly in July series, where we go beyond and into the possible opportunities afforded to someone who has been discriminated against, sabotaged, and straight out lied on in order for others to gain fame. What do we do? when this happens to us or another person. What do we do? You know? Um, when we know that it is very familiar and we see the racism very clearly, 21st century realm, do the powers that be want to push emotional buttons within others to the point where stress and mental health breakdowns become so normal that they will have to create more laws for those who are incapable of handling blatant, vicious attacks of unnecessary use of power? I want to talk about that today. I call this powerless elimination. The powerless elimination de is defined as the lack of mobility through the removal of the ability to create, participate, or connect with things in life that matter. This powerless elimination that the government has created for the case of Robert Sylvester Kelly is very contemptuous like they are trying to force something. Now there's a backstory to the R. Kelly Appeal TV channel and I will share that with you as we grow together on the channel. I just gotta find the right time to implement that. But the appeal time has arrived and there will be some movement occurring within the next two weeks or so, or maybe even before that. I wanna give a shout out to the artist of the painting that brought you here, that you saw when you first looked at the video. His name is Eugene Y. Chung. Thank you for sharing your artistic gifts with the world. So let's talk about Robert Sylvester Kelly and what is happening in the spiritual realm for him. July has an energy that supports the rights of individuals who have been wronged by a powerful source. That could be a narcissistic husband. That could be a government that overstepped their boundaries. There's an energy that is facing the planet right now. And the source of power in this conversation would be the court system. So it is an energy that the ancestors have clearly seen take place over centuries to show some who have had the blessings of being who they came to the planet to be, showing them clearly. The racism, the discrimination, the sarcasm, the uh, manipulation, the opportunity to humiliate, the humiliation. Now in Robert's very case, these hateful individuals who have come against him for the love of money will also be the ones to assist him in seeing that he is in the best position to succeed. Remember the quote in the Bible that God said, I will make your enemies your footstool. Remember that? We can't forget it. Kelly Nation. Well, that's where I'm going with this. Or those who have been part of the past history with Robert. Yes. We can be angry, yet do not become as those people who destroy and threaten because that plays into the hands of the negative vultures who are doing these acts to get a community enraged response. What happened on Do the Right Thing with Spike Lee? Does the anger ever make it better? How many, have, how many people have to die for the cause, only for the very thing to take place in life from an aggressive person? 
happening the very next day. Take someone's life to prove a point just for the aggression to happen the next day. Listen, people, especially my young listeners, please listen, because this is for you. The only, the only difference in the chaos is that the individual who has been harmed, who has died, is not there to see it happen later. All Robert's loved ones are coming to support him in a way that we will be surprised in the end because the governmental control has created a lifestyle that shows the world they are untouchable as others have seen R. Kelly in the limelight. They wanna be like him. He's a leader. No matter whether he can read, write, understand financial audits, he's a leader. But doing it this way will not make them untouchable. How about this one, Kelly Nation? There will be a Pied Piper to pay. What happened in that story? Well, the well-dressed man came through the town and he created a job for himself. The powers that be said, well, you do the job and we will pay you later. He did a phenomenal job and through music lured an infestation away, a disease away, made people happy and the community was safe again. Then he went for payment and the same powers that be who promised royalties did not pay up as they said they would. Their word was not their bond. So the Pied Piper lured their children into a place where they were never found again. So who won? No one. Yet in the end, I think a few parents went out and seeked a little more and found their children and they were unharmed. But the point is to always remember what the cost may be if one decides to implement powerless elimination. This independent action is all about the relationship of being redefined by a group of individuals who think they are entitled to controlling the masses. In this case, there will also be a controlling measure when one tries to stand up against the powers that be who are specifically there to create a powerless elimination. Robert Sylvester Kelly never tried to own anyone not even those who used him and then humiliated him for money. This dynamism of powerless elimination is the opposition to the power from the Capricorn energy. Robert is the goat and we keep saying that because it's significant. His full moon is coming up June 13th, 14th. His full moon is an argument with change. Meaning the government uses this energy to make power moves to get what they want. For instance, every one of their holidays represents a strong conversation with planets and universal placements that are specifically there to use the vibration to excel. If not, they would not have taught us science in school. We would not be celebrating separate holidays. Every day would be a holiday, but they know the energy is stronger on certain days than others. In other words, they notice that fruition comes during a certain time of the year, certain day of the month. They notice when it's time to stop and retroactively and retroactively activate what does not need to be done. 
They used the planetary energy to control emotions. So they watched R. Kelly grow. They watched Robert make his pinnacles and his money. They watched his weaknesses. They found it. He was supposed to be taught that moral fabric of men are just as important as the financial fabric of men. This brings the power over an individual. This is how the government can supersede and take power over a being. The government shows it all the time. Yet this Capricorn energy that we are around right now up until the 14th of July also brings the power from the people too. It brings out, it's going to bring out the strength in Robert right now that others have yet to even know it's there. There is a new revolutionary change and it's in the air. It's in the air. It's very strong. So we must master how we use any vibration and we thank it. We thank energy. We thank the chair that we sit on for supporting us. We thank the car that we drive for getting us from A to B. We thank the gasoline that goes through the system of the vehicle to provide fuel in order for us to move momentum. We are grateful and we are thankful in all areas of life, all areas. We must master how we use this vibration and watch how Robert and his God work through his appeals attorney, Jennifer Bongean, to make a recreation of a supposed precedent that came from a docu-series that had no connection to evidence, truth, or anything of that nature. This is a very good time to create new law. See, they thought they were going to create new law in precedent, but that thing flipped around. They used him as a precedence only to create laws that will protect those in his situation from this day forward who have no evidence. I needed to say that again. Had no evidence, we will be looking at the way our lives will change within this new time. Don't forget, Robert's old world is fighting with his new world. And it's a new heaven and a new earth, as John stated. And... It's a new way of feeling through holistic measures, not always being so fast to join a group or to, to be so fast to get a surgery when we can do things holistically. See, I brought that up because we live in a money hungry world, but looking at alternatives to a better way to change a lifestyle without being victimized. So what marijuana was legalized don't mean that you have access to indulge to the point of delirium. And then when we find out that this stuff messes and paralyzes the mind, we become the powerless elimination. Hmm. Mm. But looking at alternatives to a better way to change a lifestyle without being victimized, I think that the appeal of Robert Sylvester Kelly is going to bring creativity towards those who have always had creative expression to do something that would, again, create something different for our world. I love to see entrepreneurs that really express creativity. See, I remember a time when I was in the sixth grade and I asked my mother to buy me a pair of name brand tennis shoes. And she went to a department store that some may remember. It was called Woolworths. So we're in Woolworths and she bought me a pair of Okies, white Okies. And we went to the art section and she told me to pick out all the glitter, all the bling, all the paint, anything I needed to use to create a set of artwork for the shoes. She said, you want a name brand, then your name will go on the shoes and it will be your name brand. So we got a bedazzle set and it had thousands of beads, glitter, paint, fabric. <laughs> oh my God, I can't remember everything that it had, but it was a like 10,000 piece set. 
So I went home and created a pair of these blinged out canvas shoes and painted them and put my name on the side. And when I went to school, people stared, laughed, and made fun of me, of course. But later, as I wore different ones, some of my friends began asking me to make them a pair. I eventually started charging $3 for each pair. That was fun and exciting. So creative change to do more for one's own worth can be made at this very time in life. Living to do what we love to do is what I want to share with you today. How many of us have empty uh, YouTube channels that we don't have any videos on? It's very easy to stream a video and give some hope or give a point of view or give something to the world and, and know that you put your creative content out there so others can hear and see as well. Give people choices, people today. Rob only had one choice, even though he had two options. He had one choice and that was the easiest choice. Basketball would have been the second easiest choice. But what about the thing that he never ever got to experience that was also an option had he had the choice? How do you live to do what you love to do? Are you seeking alternative ways other than being depressed and in the house and sad about the decision, trying to decide how you will handle the laws that were handed down to Robert? Do we all have to be incarcerated and some of us incarcerated without having a, a cell, a closed cell? We have a whole open universe and we're still incarcerated mentally, spiritually, uh, emotionally because of what this devil tried to do to the king of R&B. Are we really making it a point to create a goal for ourselves? Because that's what we need to do. We definitely need to do that because once we do that, we find, we find that we will not give the powers that be any ammunition to create a movement of laws that bind our freedoms even more than what it is right now. Let's dare to look at the new laws of technology, learn the technological system that is going to be there to incarcerate someone for something that was threatened just because they don't understand what slang is. They're always one up on us, so we got to be 10 up on us. Look at how we can use the internet effectively to not have our words seen as threats, but that can create the laws that are supposed to protect the citizen, the citizens of these United States. I wanted to get on and share that with you today because I feel that um, I have a lot of young listeners all over the country that is listening to my podcast and I have to be held accountable for the things that I speak on this channel. And as a researcher, I have to research and know that I know what I'm talking about, not guess, not assume not be emotionally driven by the powers that affect my mental abilities to grow and do and have, you know? Yeah, everyone can get angry at anything. Everyone can have a voice and an opinion about anything, but to what degree do we really and truly use that information to make a systemic change in America? You know, we're going to the very same uh, in, in individual communities um, that are going, that are, are with other people that are creating this powerless elimination. We don't want to be part of this powerless elimination because each one, reach one, can teach one and learn and grow. I thank my mother. God rest her spirit. God rest her soul. I thank my mother for being a strong single woman. I thank my grandmother for being 
on the journey with my mother as she was raising us girls and my brother to know the right ways when the vulture comes to steal our soul, you know, and it tries to steal our soul through our physicalness. And when we, when our soul is gone, our physical can continue to walk, move, act, breathe, have breath, eat, have sex, but it can be an empty shell within. And some people use powerless elimination to kill themselves without suicide. And that's something that The Walking Dead, if you remember The Walking Dead, there was a series out called The Walking Dead. And it was after supposedly Jesus had come back and it was the end of the world and everybody, because nobody used the power that God gave them through their mental abilities, through their mental states. And that's what I dare you to do right now. I dare you to take control. I dare you to put into your mind that you will find a way to be positive through any negative occurrence in your life, in anyone else's life. And as we see this happen, things will change. See, Robert has been in the belly of the beast around all the negativity. Believe me, I know because it happened to me and I'll share it with you, but not today. But he's in a belly of the beast and all the negativity, no matter how positive you are, you have to fight that negativity with a million times more positive energy just in order to get an ounce of that success you want. So this is his second chance to go back into the womb, into his spiritual womb and talk to his mother of mother of mother earth to get the message to the powers that be that this shit ain't going down the way they think it's going down. It cannot go down that way. It will not go down that way. And we send it out to the birds to go all over the universe and speak that into manifestation so the universe can bring it back to us because that is called the law of attraction. Anything and everything we think comes to fruition. That's why we need to think with a sound, solid, successful mind. And that's why our mind is the very thing that is trying to be destroyed through attractions, distractions, humiliation, incarceration, um, depression, sexism, racism, cultural, you know, uh, um, alienation, isolation, you know, powerless elimination. These are things that we need to get ourselves engaged with. Have that, have that narrative, have that conversation. Instead of proving a point that a motion was filed that said this or said that, you know, right now we need to be seeking and reaching individuals to let them know to hold on and have faith. And, you know, just the fact that we as people choose to say that he gets what he deserves, we are not the one to judge like that. Because what if everyone lied? What if everyone was paid to lie and then now you're a part of that because you thought negatively? I dare you to open your mind and expand your horizons and do something for yourself. Do something for your internal being. Help yourself grow. Pick up a book. Go to the library. Education is free. Even today, college is free. So there's no excuse for ignorance. None. The only excuse we have for ignorance is the fact that we want to be ignorant. And that's why I said, you know, teach our kids the reality of sex. 
teach our kids how to get ready to prepare for prom if they're in middle school. Because many of them haven't even been on a date with anyone. Um, and hormones kick up around that time because, you know, we're going into puberty. A little past puberty. So you've just been dealing with the whole emotional roller coaster of how the emotions are making you feel. And then you want to put him on a date, put this girl in a pretty dress, put this dude in a tux like he's a real man. But does he know the man law? Does he know the law, the fabric of a man? The moral fabric of a man. Not just because he looks good. Not just because he has what it takes. But the moral fabric of a man. Bigger than the financial fabric of his father. So the mother can't tell the girl, well, yeah, you go out and you try to make that your husband because eventually he's going to be the one that you're going to have to, that's going to be taking care of you. We want women to understand, and yes, I'm a single woman and I have been for a very long time. And it's not because I, I you know, it, it's really because I choose to be because there's too many games that are played. There are too many people out for the the um out for the outcome but never went along with you on the journey and so now there is no one that i can trust with my life to be in a physical form that can be there for me to that degree i don't know i don't know it so if you don't know it it doesn't it doesn't exist so i mean we bring things into our lives and yes we we would love to have a, a significant other, a husband, a wife, a good baby's mom. You know, we would love to have that. I was listening to a narcissistic channel today that said that the majority of men who have a whole bunch of babies' mamas, they're fighting with their sexism. They want people to believe that they are so empowered through their engagement with women until they may silently be gay. They may silently be because they didn't have the control to handle it. And now you got baby mamas fighting with each other, not wanting to, you know, get along with each other. And now they take that to Chuck E. Cheese or they take it to the mall. Then they see each other and then it's hell to pay. And guess what? Guess what? The community has to deal with the remnant. And what have they done? What have they done? In this essence, they have gained powerless, powerless elimination. So I think I'm done with that. I'm going to have a, a meditation and I'm going to spend time with my grandson. And we really appreciate everyone for being here, liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. I do apologize for, um, you know, having to go back to the premieres. I'm going to do this a little bit more so I can stay focused. And then if there's anyone who would like to speak to me personally, please email me at scales, S-C-A-L-E-S, to T-O, success, S-U-C-C-E-S-S-L-L-C -S -S at gmail.com. Scales to success LLC at gmail.com. That is my business uh, name. I've been in business now helping entrepreneurs um, believe in themselves and give them hope. And, you know, I, I do tarot readings. I do oracles. I do um, healing opportunities through holistic remnants. I mean, there is so many things, you know, um, consultation calls where, you know, if you just need to talk to someone, you know, schedule that, you know, schedule that with me. So then that way we can help heal whatever is broken, you know. Um, there's power in, in knowing that the powers that be 
create powerless elimination. There's power in that. So how are you going to handle it? Thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. We really appreciate you. And we hope that you found something interesting in this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and throw it on your Facebook page or YouTube channel. Share it. Share it with someone so that they will hear the information that's going on regarding the appeal process of Robert Sylvester Kelly. Of course, nothing is really going on right now. So my mind is now at a, low, at a place where I can create conversation about, of course, the appeal. So all this means something. So if you follow us, please, um, I do have this series in a playlist and you can go on to the channel. Click on video at the top, scroll down, you'll see We Can Fly in July. And that is where these video podcasts will be organized on the channel. And until there is an appeal movement, I will keep you posted. I do definitely want to start the backstory of the R. Kelly Appeal TV channel. So if you're interested in knowing about that and want to hear about that, please put it in the comment box and let me know. And I will begin to start talking about the journey and the backstory to R. Kelly Appeal TV. Thank you so much again for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. And as always, keep it 100 and we'll see you next time.